Hello friend, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss about how to open and save file in csop.net using Windows application. So add here you can see form 1 I already created. Now here we need to drag uh, some controls. So here let's uh, write a text box and drag this text box. Now here there is uh, one important property multi 9. By default it's false. Make that true and here make that bigger now here after we need to one uh, button control now so this button control that I'm going to open the file so let give a meaningful text name open and uh, here after double click on this uh, open button and here button one click event that uh, open so at this place we need to write some code so here this code that I already written let's copy and uh, save and here you can see a stream a clause that I use and here getting the masses take the cursor here click on so potential fixes here we need io namespace so now error that out so with the help of uh, this code we can easily open any file on button click event pin th that file so here a stream st i created the object so it provide generic view of sequence of byte now here after open file dialog so it displays a standard dialog box prompt user to open the file and here dialog result so I specify identifi identifier to indicate the result return value in the dialog box when that condition is ok that go inside here st equal to d1 dot open not equal to null so when that condition is true then that go inside here string type of variable file I have taken d1 that call file name and uh, here a string str read all the files and str value go to text box so here this is the text box name is text box 1 you can see this is the name now let's uh, run this code and uh, check whether file is going to open or not so here this is so uh, taking time to run this all code and uh, here I think uh, it's done now click on open so when I click on open here let's go to desktop there are some files are there now here let's uh, use you can take uh, any file text to XML so I'm going to use here XML file so this is the content inside XML file so file is open now this file I'm going to save inside another file okay so for this let's go to designer here take uh, one button control and drag into the form and this I'm going to use for save file save now here So there I am going to create uh, one file. Let's give for uh, name Adam and uh, inside Adam going to write hello world. Now here this is the Adam. Now here after let's so uh, double click on save file. So button to click event that to uh, file. Now here after this is the code to save the files ok now here uh, we need to give for uh, some meaningful name so level it's not come there let's go to the file and here write uh, level 
drag this level into the form and here text property going to make that blank and here the level file is the name level 1 now here you cannot see any error related to level because I just created the file now here I'm going to create the new files okay so here you can keep uh, original files so uh, here this so uh, here you can see in gems there is the file here some some contents inside the files now here I'm going to run this code so here it's so uh, running so my intention is let's go to the desktop and here you can see this is the that I just created this atom file so I'm going to open this atom file and whatever the text that going to paste into the hello form open the file atom so atom that comes on the desktop so this is the content hello world now click on the save file save successfully and uh, it's override the file and uh, here you can see hello one hello world it's a uh, display so let's close and uh, here you can see this is the code to open so this code is to open the files and uh, this code is to save the files so if you want to create the new file on anywhere let's create the file on desktop here giving uh, xyz dot uh, you can give any file name file type like xml text so xyz is not in the desktop now here after let's uh, run this code so here this time going to create the file new file so first going to open so atom file this is the contents inside atom file now if I click file saved and you can see new file it's created and if I click on this so here you can see XML file created and here the content hello world that uh, will display inside there So XYZ it's created now here. Let's uh, click on open and uh, choose the app. So you can choose any different app. So if you want then you can choose text. And here you can see hello world it's a uh, displaying. And here content hello world inside XML file. So like this if you do any modification so I'm going to do the modification hello world how are you control s to save now I'm going to open the file once again let's run this code open file click on open button then you can open the file add on this is the content now I'm going to save file save so here this uh, remove the older content and uh, new content you can see so here let's open notepad hello how are you it's the display so this is the simplest way we can open and save the file using CSA windows application so I hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you